In addition to the opening ceremony and the tree lighting, in addition to the parade with 60 floats and a thousand twinklers, in addition to one million lights lighting up San Jacinto Plaza, there is also a skating rink with actual ice. Joining me now is the president and CEO of Destination El Paso, Jose Garcia. It is just, I love this time of year. Thanks for having me, Robert. <laughs> okay, real ice. El Pasoans and ice normally don't go together, but they do now. Well, and you know, it's, it's gonna be amazing because it's real ice, right? And so a lot of us, we have to, it's the only experience we get with real life. <laughs> oh, I know, yeah. trust me. And other parts of me know as well, but they have little uh, supporter things that you can get out there. If you if you skate like I do, which is like a giraffe on ice. Yes. I use those little skate helpers also. <laughs> a yeah. giraffe on ice. That's like me, but I'll tell you what, the kids, kids are just natural. They get out there, they don't care. You know, they just move around. No care in the world. Ours, we need the little blue thing to move around. And we take a lot longer to heal. Now, you do have to get some tickets for this. How do they get tickets to get on that ice? epwinterfest.com, scroll down. You can get your skating passes there. It's really, really easy. We take all forms of payment except for cash. No okay. cash. Okay, all right. Now, when I'm there and I've exhausted all that energy, falling, I mean, skating around on the ice. Gracefully. I'm hungry. What do you recommend? Two things. You got to get a churro and a hot and a hot chocolate. <sighs> uh, is it a hot, fresh churro? It is a hot, fresh churro. Each bite, mouth-watering deliciousness. And you wash it down with a hot chocolate. If Christmas had a flavor, it would be that. I think so. At the ice rink. At the rink. Right there. Absolutely. They're all lined up. Goes and hand ready. in hand. I love it. Skates, ice, churro, hot chocolate. Not necessarily in that order. No, and nor your pride. Let's talk about uh, parking. Okay, a lot of, now everybody wants to go. Everybody's gonna go because Winterfest is, is a must do if you are an El Chuco resident. Where should they do that? So plenty of parking downtown. Come early, you can park at the Convention Center parking garage, UPTT, or you can use the streetcar. You can park up by the university, take the streetcar in, Plenty of parking, street level parking, parking structures, parking galore. Parking Commonly galore. parking galore, yes. Okay, let's talk Destination El Paso. Now, your organization has been teamed up with Winterfest for a while. Tell us about your organization. Well, Destination El Paso is super proud to partner with the city for Winterfest. Winterfest is the best holiday celebration in the Southwest, in my opinion. We are responsible for the tourism marketing. We're responsible for running facilities that, for the city. We are in the business of creating experiences. And what is a better experience than Winterfest? I agree. Yeah. And when you're downtown, honestly, with the beautiful buildings, the beautiful lights, and it's so safe. One thing I love about El Paso, the people here are truly beautiful people. They're loving, they're kind, they're polite. I mean, we have lots of security, but it's always safe. And Winterfest, I think, just exemplifies that. You have the amazing El Pasoans during a magical time of the year. It, again, it's hand in glove or hand in mitten, if you will. If you will. Uh, but yeah, it's absolutely safe, secure, families having a lovely time, uh, all of it. It's, it's my favorite time of the year. There are other activities. Let's say hypothetically, hypothetically, I have a bunch of Taylor Swift songs on my playlist. What do you have for me this year? Well, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but since you brought it up, I Robert, said hypothetically, remember, there was a disclaimer. We have a night just for Swifty lovers, okay? Just for Swifty lovers. So uh, you can go to epwinterfest.com, see our schedule of special events. Uh, but also, if you don't know how to skate and you want to get better at skating, we have a Skating 101 night. Every Thursday, Skating 101, 6 o'clock, so we don't have to use the little skate helpers. Pretty cool. This is going to be a great year. Jose, thank you so Robert, much. thank you. We certainly hope you've enjoyed this episode of Studio 9, and we certainly hope that you and your family are going to go on down to San Jacinto Plaza downtown and take in the wonderful Winterfest. God bless. Keep smiling, keep shining El Paso.